Thank you. So we did want to dig a little deeper into what is behind the storm and its wider effects. So joining us now from downtown Minneapolis, we have the one and only meteorologist Mike Seidel from the Weather Channel. Mike, good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning, Heather and AJ. Good to be here on what is in my world a spring day in Minneapolis. <laughs> I've covered a bunch of storms here and this is about as warm as it gets in January. 31 degrees. The average low is 10 and because of that you mentioned the gloppy heavy wet snow. Look at the trees down here on uh, 11th Street. Just beautiful. A little bit of a breeze. Uh, but even though we've had the wet snow overnight we had a little freezing drizzle. No reports of any power outages in the metro area. So that's good news. This is great snowman making weather. Yeah, so Mike, I do want to ask you about that though, because you know we have seen a warm start, mm -hmm. warm relatively to January. It feels like we've seen more snow. I mean, are, are you seeing sort of changes over time in what our snowfall could look like? Well, it's hard to say what you're going to end up with, but right now you're at about 170. Uh, wait a minute, you're at 190 percent of average, so you've almost yeah. doubled your snowfall. Uh, the average snowfall is about 20. You're up around 40 inches so far. And if you think about the last three years, the last three seasons, snowfall was right around average, which is about 50 or 51 inches. So you're off to a, a big start. This is <laughs> the fourth start. snowstorm of the season. And, and it's going to be the biggest one of the season, topping the 8.4 back on November 29th. So uh, all around, a uh, very snowy season. Great for the outdoor sports enthusiast yeah. here. Well, yeah, I'm thinking about that because, I mean, you know, typically the snowiest month, typically that's what, March? Typically as we start to get into the season. Yeah. So we're already off to a, a rough start now. And, Mike, it sounds like from we know Minnesota, it's only going to get worse. Yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. No bitter cold coming in like you had around Christmas when you had two days below zero, but it's going to get back to average and then below for the weekend with lows down, uh, low single numbers and highs in the teens versus 24 in 10. And you mentioned March. I hate to tell you that in Atlanta in March, I'm already cutting the grass. Yeah, right. I, I, just oh, have I know. To throw that I in know. there. I know you do. Hey, Mike, I have a question, though, because you were in Michigan, what, last week? You were in South Dakota the week before. We know mm -hmm. there are significant weather issues going on all over the country. What, how do you choose where you go? Like, why my Minneapolis today? Well, it was pretty obvious to us, well, we got two days out that two or three days out, this is going to be the epicenter. Now, with that said, there is a town and towns out in south eastern parts of South Dakota that have had up to 27 inches of snow. But we're not usually we don't go out to small towns for two feet mm. of snow when we come to Minneapolis for a foot of snow. It's just because more impact, more people, major got metro. Uh, as far as Holland, Michigan, right before Christmas, we went there because we knew we were going to get hammered with the lake effect the lake that we effect. did. Right. We had uh, a couple of feet of snow and winds gusting to 50 miles an hour. And, and that was a blizzard. Sturgis was a blizzard. This, thankfully, it's not a blizzard because yeah. we don't have anywhere near the wind to qualify for a blizzard. Right. So I'm like, no complaints uh, this morning out here on the streets of Minneapolis. I'm looking right at WCCO yeah. right now. The, right here. The mm -hmm. broadcast blowtorch of the Midwest. <laughs> yep. So what I'm hearing from Mike Seidel is Minneapolis is his favorite. That's what I heard. Okay, that's what I want to hear. Yeah. Hey, Mike, we appreciate it. Thanks for joining us this morning. Okay, thank you. Yeah. We appreciate you having me on. Yeah. And enjoy the winter weather. Right? you gotta, you got to embrace it if you live up here. The winter yeah. spring weather. The winter as you spring said. weather, yes.